8.32 a.m. on Saturday, the 16th of November. All right, thank you, everybody. Um, there were agendas on the table. There were um, a list of all the current PCs. So um, if you if we if you were at a table that we had to bring in, please grab from other tables. There were plenty of extra copies. Um, so please share amongst each others uh, because I printed 100 of both and I have a feeling we're coming close to that. Um, food, the lunch will be delivered at 12 o'clock today. Lunch will be served at 12 o'clock or not served. It will be brought in. We serve ourselves. Um, so, and then we have desserts that were provided by that we purchased from Colleen Pope from LD8. All right. I'm going to start the meeting off with the chair's uh, a message from the chair. My name is Melissa Galarza. I am the chair of LD12. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. All right. To my fellow PCs, Democrats, and volunteers, the 2024 election might be over, but our fight is not. If someone told me 10 years ago, maybe even five years ago, that I would be standing here today talking about politics, I would have laughed. I never thought about getting involved with the Democratic Party, but over the last four years, I have found myself loving it, crying, angry, emotional, everything you can think of, but most of all, enjoying the friends and the family I have gained from being involved. I have put it all on the line this election. I know that I tried and I did everything I could no, to make no. sure that we saved democracy. I know that I made some of you happy, excited, while some were might have been disappointed or angry. Mm -hmm. To you, I do the best I can. I learn from my mistakes to try to take us into a better future. We do, do have many things that to I be grateful for. We are officially the best district in the state of Arizona. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. care. I don't care what anyone has to, else has mm -hmm. to say. I say we're the best. You understood the assignment for that. I'm giving you an A plus today. Let's talk about our accomplishments here in LD12. We reelected all three of our legislators. <laughs> we helped elect Ruben Gallego to the U.S. Senate. We helped reelect Rep Representative Greg Stanton. We helped elect Kate Gallego, Terry Goddard, Heather Macri to the Central Arizona. We elected all three of our Kyrene school board, Amy, Bunny, and Cedric. Um, we helped elect two of the three Chandler school, Claudia and Barbara, Barbara uh, Allison Ewers in Tempe, Lacey in Mesa, Jesse James in Gilbert, and we helped pass bond overrides and propositions for Tempe, Chandler, Gilbert, Maricopa Schools, and the city of Phoenix. We helped stop propositions 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, and 315, but most of all, we passed 139. Oh yeah, and I wasn't sure on that one. It was 140 was a no. Okay, so for all of these, these are huge wins. RLD rocked at this election. You had, thank you for giving yourselves a round of applause. I have so many people to thank for this, um, to allow me to be standing here today. I'm gonna take some time to recognize a few of those people, and then I have some more as the day goes on. The first people I'd like to thank is Senator Mitzi Epstein. Representative Patty Contreras and Representative Stacy Travers. Can you guys stand for us? Yeah. I want to thank you for everything, especially for showing up for our meetings, our canvases, our events, and always reminding us what we are fighting for. The three of you are a great reminder that we have to continue to fight and soon enough, we will flip this legislature. 
to my executive board. I know our meetings can sometimes be long, we get off track, but we've always stayed focused when it was most needed. Sherry, my sister, my first vice chair, I wanna thank you for being a sounding board, for talking me off the ledge when I wanted to give up sometimes, but reminding me of all the good that we do. I'm grateful you are by my side. Marion, you are the most kind and loving person and an amazing fundraiser, event organizer, and always getting people excited and motivated to do more. So thank you. For Susie, thank you for making sure that our newsletters get out on time. <laughs> um, for keeping our calendars, our social media, everything up to date. That is a critical part to getting people where they need to be when they need to be there. Um, Melanie, who is online, so I'm gonna look this way at Melanie. Melanie, making sure that we are calling volunteers about our upcoming canvases. I'm not a big phone banker, I don't like it, but it is something we have to do. I love the connection you're making with our volunteers, so thank you. Nicole, where is Nicole? Oh, there you are. Nicole, thank you for reminding me that we can't expect everybody to come to us. We need to get out more into our community and meet them in their comfort zones, which I plan to do in this upcoming election. Joe, for making sure that our financials are done on time and keeping us out of jail. This is a big one for me because I do have to pass background checks for my day job. So thank you. And Jeff, oh Jeff, boy oh boy. There are so many things, but it has to come down to bylaws, bylaws, bylaws. We have to keep fighting to improve our bylaws, not only for our LD, but for the county, for the state party. I want to make sure that we are providing inclusivity and transparency. And most of all, thank you for being my co-chair for the hybrid committee. I really wanna see this get off the ground for the state party. I want to acknowledge the countless hours the current board members have invested. While most, many of us work full time, Sherry, Nicole, Jeff, Joe, and myself, the commitment of the current team to move our LD forward has never wavered. And for that, I will always be grateful. In closing, I do want to talk about money. We're always raising money, but we do have our bada bing. I will mention that. That wasn't on my list. But I wanna talk about money and politics. And I wanna tell you about three different ways that I go about making sure that I'm finding companies that share my values. They share the democratic values and they support Democrats across the country. Goods Unite Us. This is an app you can download on your phone. You can look up companies and see how they do, whether they're in favor of Republicans or Democrats. Um, progressive Shopper. This is data that's taken directly from the FEC. You can look up companies as well and see where they're lobbying. They do um, a lot of different things. And I'll put this in an email so you don't have to quickly write it all down. But thank you for paying attention. And then the last one is my favorite. It's called Open Secrets. Hold on. Hmm. This one is Open Secrets. This is the most comprehensive resource for campaign contributions, lobbying data, and analysis available everywhere. It's exclusive data powers their online features tracking money and po politics, counting cash to make change. So with that, if you have, oh, I'm sorry, if these, all three of these are gonna give you slight different responses or results. Just make sure I'm asking you before you go and do a bunch of shopping this holiday season, please choose companies that share our values. I'm gonna give you a couple. Home Depot is a no, Lowe's is a yes. Sam's Club is a no, Costco is a yes, very much a yes, you know? So Target is a yes, Target is a yes. Amazon is a, mm. it's, you know. Um, so that's that's my ask of you, is to please try to do your best to Look at the companies you're spending your money on, okay? Um, if you know of a company in RLD that shares our values, 
Um, I would like to recognize them at any upcoming meetings. We would like to put together a spreadsheet to help you, especially companies in our district. The people that are supplying our lunch today is called Sweet Magnolia. Magnolia. I don't know why I keep doing that. Sweet Magnolia Barbecue. It is right off of Chandler Boulevard and 48th. So um, that will be here around 12 o'clock today. Um, I look forward to working with everybody in this next election. And thank you for the trust that you have in me to move our LD and Arizona forward. Um, Senator Mitzi Epstein wanted to have a few minutes and then we're gonna get down to business. Wait, you have to have a microphone. And you probably wanna be here so they can see you on Zoom. Stay here with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> because clearly we, first thing I wanna make note of is when you talked about Sherry, wonderful heartfelt truths I wanted to give all you a chance to applaud Sherry Johnson and the work that she's done. I think we all wanted to. Thank you. She's on Zoom. <laughs> okay, great. And I wanted to take a minute to give you a chance to remember how fantastic and how lucky we are to have our chair, Melissa Galarza. Let me take a minute to just go through some of the things, and there's so many more. She shows up to everything. like. I, as a legislator, we try to show up to everything, but we get to tag team and kind of decide, you go to that, I'll go to this. Melissa's at everything, and, and it makes such a difference. And that's how she gets to know so many of you, and she delegates the work so very well. So it's not just the Melissa show, it is the everybody show. And you're, you have created, the, our whole exec board, and you have created a culture of, it's about us. It's not about anybody, one person. And our district, I want to also share with you, we are the best district, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to know why. Because we care about each other enough. We have a culture of family that we really care about each other. And that when we hear gossip, we do sometimes at least try to not spread it. <laughs> and when we hear somebody has said something that wrongs us, we'll go and talk to that person. We don't spread the word further and i thought this is a this at our final meeting of the year is a good time to applaud that to ourselves of good cheer giving each other always remember to be curious not judgmental that's who we are that's what the culture we have here and let's have one more round of applause for our chair melissa galarza thank you okay so on our um, the agenda, in my opening remarks, um, I, I already recognize outgoing board members will recognize volunteers. I do need to make sure that there is quorum in the room, which needs to be 10% of the PCs. So if you're a PC, you got a little blue band today. Um, and I think we're 26. So we're good. We have quorum between quorum online and quorum in the person. Okay. So the first thing we'll need to do is approval of the agenda. Do I have a motion on the floor to approve the agenda? Thank you. I don't need a second. All in favor? Aye. Anybody oppose? Motion, anybody abstain? Motion passes. All right. The next order of business is I'd like to uh, nominate um, the nomination election of our election chair. I move that we, um, I hand this over to Angela. She lives outside of our district. And one of the main things is I want to make sure somebody that not does not have a vested interest in how our district votes today. So I'd like to make a motion to elect Angela to run our election for today. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Motion passes. Thank you, Angela. And yeah, she can. She, I I do have a vested interest in this, LD. I'm sorry, I do. And the vested interest is that you are my family outside my own LD. So, I originally started with LD 18 when I was here, and uh, came back for the LD 12 show. Um, so 
my name is Angela Buer. If I I've, I know most of you, um, as I I can't believe that I don't get away from the door soon enough, then I will not get away from the door, hugging everybody as they come in. Thank you all for coming today. Um, I'm going to go over a few things about this reorganization, <clears throat> um, the election process in LD12. Um, if you have any questions after the plan uh, that I'm reading has been reviewed, please do feel free to ask. So the election that occurs today is going to elect the offices of chair, first vice chair, second vice chair, secretary, treasurer, and three at-large executive committee members. The district elected 259 precinct committee members. Now, I am not sure, but I believe that's the most in Arizona. We have 30 legislative districts in Arizona, and out of those, 19 reside in Maricopa County. We have the most out of all of Arizona, not just Maricopa County. Um, for every, because LD12 recruited and elected that amount, actually a total, it ended up being 252. I believe we had people move and relocate, is that correct? So we are at 252, still the most. And this means that this district is eligible to have 84 committee members, to the Arizona Democratic State Committee. So we'll be electing those today as well. So thank you for each of you who did decide to commit being that vital part of the Democratic Party and representing a legislative district 12 by your decision. As um, and your election to the office of precinct committee person, we cannot do anything without you. It is really up to you to get things done. Um, also, uh, we look forward that we're going to have a next two years uh, working with you, registering new Democratic voters, electing Democratic uh, candidates to the office. And thank you so much to the volunteers who are making this meeting possible, including the AV registration and hospitality teams. Without them, this process would be much more difficult and time consuming, like it already is, because we have so many of you, right? So please give them a round of applause. So here are some terms you're gonna be hearing today. See, I'm putting on my, I'm switching from my launch canvases to teacher hats. All right, electors. Elected Democratic Precinct Committee persons, or PCs, those who as of November 1st, 2024, were currently residing in their Legislative District 12 precincts are entitled to cast ballots for each of the elections today. Nominations and candidates. All nominations are going to be from the floor of the district meeting today. Each office must be held by a different person with the exception of the offices of secretary and treasurer, which can be held by the same person, although I don't know why they would. Nomination shall be open or shall open for each of the offices in order of chair, first vice chair, second vice chair, secretary, treasurer, at large members, and then state committee members. All elected PCs are eligible to run for any of the open offices, but no person shall be submitted as a candidate without the consent of the present or the proposed nominee. No seconding of nominations will be required. For each office, the question is, are there any further nominations for this office? I will ask this three times. It's not because I think the mic's not working or you didn't hear me. And then um, nominations will close upon hearing no further nominations from the floor. For the executive committee offices, nomination speeches are no more than one minute per candidate, and they will be presented by the nominees or designated representative in order of nomination. See, I already got through the first page. Am I doing okay? Okay. Everybody hear me okay? Okay, great. So um, at the conclusion of the final speech for each of the offices, the voting then will begin electronically and shall be open for 10 minutes. 
Now, um, in the case that we are having voting, that's when we um, have a few things that we'll probably do. Uh, proxies, per LD12 bylaws, there is no proxy voting uh, will be permitted in this election. Now, the manner of election, if there's a, one candidate for office, that candidate may be elected by acclamation. That means that there is not another candidate running against them. If there are two candidates for an office, the winner must have a majority vote of the ballot elected PCs that are present. If there are three or more candidates, they shall be elected using an instant runoff voting system as determined by election runner. So the election of the executive committee officers, um, election runner is gonna be used, utilized to conduct elections for all offices. You'll receive a ballot that must be retrieved via your email and cast electronically within 10 minutes. In instant runoff voting, there is no benefit to you or the candidate by leaving a name off your ballot. You will choose each candidate once and rank them accordingly. No currently available commercial software voting systems, including Election Runner, offer the ability uh, to run instant runoff elections where there are multiple seats to be elected. So for this reason, at the at-large office elections will be conducted one seat at a time. And this will utilize instant runoff voting if there are more than two or more candidates running for a seat. Oh. Okay, um, now, do you want me to tell you what the general expectations are of the seats that are going to be up today? Great. Oh, you did print them out. Look at you, look at you. All right, um, the first thing um, I kind of want to talk about, I think what I'll do is, Sorry, I think what I'll do is at the announcement of each of the executive board member um, <clears throat> seats, I will tell you what that what the expectations are of that specific um, seat is. But for general expectations of the LD12 Pratt's executive committee members, these are general. Um, having a passion for the mission which uh, basically it's a genuine commitment to our LD12 Democrat goals and an understanding of its values. Dedication to working for the good of the order, personal agendas and not my job have no place on an effective executive committee. It should go without saying that every executive committee colleague is listened to, treated with respect, and has the ability to listen attentively to others, understands diverse perspectives, and engages in constructive dialogue. Uh, the ability to attend numerous meetings and events. This is a big one, because you know this LD has a ton of them, right? Uh, we have, we have, a bill, have the ability to provide operational and logistical leadership. During off-election years, meetings are usually only once or twice a month but when special events are being planned and during our election cycle, uh, the executive committee meetings may be off as often as weekly. Uh, understand and protecting the Democratic brand. It is an honor to be in a leadership role in the Democratic Party, and it's important to project Democratic brand in a positive light that reflects our values. As with PCs and state committee members, the executive committee members support our Democratic candidates, they welcome discussions, but they speak as one when a consensus has been reached. And then uh, there's an observance of ethical principles. These discussions that are held during um, executive committee meetings in executive sessions must be treated as proprietary information. The um, members all strive for adherence to high ethical standards and a commitment to acting with integrity and transparency. And they're having familiarity with the communication media that's used. Um, they're held in a private channel um, in their LD12 uh, Dem Slack workspace. If you've heard of Slack, whether you like it or not, it is one of the major communication um, 
areas that we use, apps that we use. And there are sometimes time sensitive matters that are gonna be discussed. So members are encouraged to check in often enough to participate in discussions and votes. They also use Google suite of applications like the G Drive for storage and of documents for calendar of events and meetings and pro productivity applications like Sheets, doc, uh, Docs, and Slides. They usually meet via Zoom, but occasionally meet in person. And the last is a willingness to participate in efforts to amplify the democratic message. It is assumed that members will like and share all of LD12 Dems content that we post on social media if active on those platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, I'm not gonna mention that one, and threads. I would recommend Blue Sky for anybody who wants to see what that channel was like before hell. Okay. So with that, I'm hoping that I'm getting to my Sorry, this is. Got it. I, I thought that bringing a clipboard make it easier, but it did not. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm going to start with the election of our officers. First of all, do I have any questions before I move on? It's a question, Lisa. Yes. The question is, are the bylaws of the LD12 located online? Yes, they are. And you, do, do you want to put it? They're at the bottom of the website. And they're also posted in Slack. Is there a specific channel in Slack that they're posted? Under the PC channel in Slack. And your second question, Lisa. I'm gonna read those to you now. The question was, are there specific requirements of the first and second vice chair? And as I go through each of the um, positions, I will tell you what the election of the officers is and the duties. Other questions, comments, witty repartee. No? Okay. I'll keep the witty repartee to myself, yes. I'm going to repeat the question on Zoom. The question was, does the election runner software need to be downloaded now? The answer is no. You'll receive a link via email when we, if, when and if, we need to vote on um, a position. Does that answer your question? Okay. Any others? We good to go? Golden. Okay. Ah. <sighs> So at this time, we will elect a chair first. The bylaws describe this position as follows. Yes, it's long. What? Yeah, let me tell you what the chair does. And being an ex-chair, I don't know if that's a, yeah, being an ex-chair, it. Let me just tell you that she deserves so many of the accolades that you can give because it's one of the most thankless positions that she'll ever hold. I know that's so encouraging to run for it, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so the chair shall, one, direct the affairs of LD12 and serve as its official spokesperson. Number two, they coordinate the district-wide activities of Maricopa County Democratic Party Arizona Democratic Party or the Democratic National Committee here after is, oh, it's, I'll say DNC. Can I do uh, acronyms for these? Phew, get tongue tied. Number three, preside over all meetings of LD12, the executive committee and other meetings that may be held. Number four, in consultation with the treasurer, she, she or he will submit a budget proposal by April 1st following each organizational meeting for approval by the executive committee. Number five, they assign duties to officers not specified by these bylaws. 
And number six, appoint all committee, all committees except as specifically provided for in the bylaws and appoint chairs and members to those committees. Number seven, direct any office LD12 may establish and number eight, perform other duties as set forth in the bylaws. And they, I'm gonna say number nine is they do everything. Okay, so let's, shall we elect a chair? I, it's gonna be back, oh, there you go. I'd like Are we to, gonna go back and forth? Hold on, let me, let me announce oh, it. Sorry. So that's sorry. okay. At this time, I will open the floor for nominations. He's so eager. Uh, for the position of chair of LD12, if you have a nomination, state your name, and then you have one minute to tell us why you brought the nominations. Are there any nominations for the position of chair of LD12? Yes. I'd like to nominate myself for the chair of LD12. Oh, Come on. sorry. Wow. Well. Okay, are there any other nominations for the position of chair? <laughs> are there any other nominations for the position of chair? Are there any other nominations for the position of chair? Okay, so seeing none, I do have a motion to close nominations for the position of chair. Okay, uh, who said so? Moving Paul Wyke. Oh, sorry, Chris Pilgrim. Okay, we have uh, then we have without objection the nominations for chair are closed, and I believe where where's my acclamation? Jerry Robin. My name is Melissa Galarza. And um, I already did my speech at the beginning of the meeting, so I wasn't gonna tie up another minute. So thank you. But she doesn't, okay. uh, it's not official yet. Then I'd like to buy a vote of accl is it vote of acclamation? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the verbiage and I don't see it. It's a vote by, by acclamation. Uh, can I get a, um, all in favor, say aye. Any opposed? Then by, then by acclamation, Melissa Galarza is hereby elected to be chair of LD12 for the 2025-2026 cycle. Okay. Now, at this time, we will elect a first vice chair. The bylaws describe this position as follows. You do everything the chair tells you. Oh, that's just the shortened form. Uh, they will perform the duties of the chair during the absence or disability of the chair until the chair returns or in the event of a vacancy until successor is elected. And they will too perform duties assigned by the chair or by these bylaws. See, I told you, it's whatever the chair says. Love that position, it's the greatest. Okay. <clears throat> At this time, I'm gonna open the floor. Nominations for the position of first vice chair of LD12. If you have a nomination, state your name, and then you have one minute to tell us why you brought this nomination. There is one on Zoom. Do I get to talk now, Angelo? There she is. Can you hear me? I can't tell. Am I supposed to talk yet or no? <laughs> yes. yes, you can. Okay, talk. <laughs> thank you. Um, my name is Sherry Johnson. I am the previous first vice chair for LD12 Democrats, and I would like to um, continue in this position I'm super proud of the work that we've done as an LD in general, but specifically regarding the first chair position in terms of our um, 
outreach. Um, we were trying new and creative ways that built upon the legacy that LD12 and LD18 and LD20 previously built. Um, we did a, an amazing job recruiting volunteers and PCs over the last several years. And there's so much more work to continue to do that I'm really looking forward for, to the opportunity to do that. Um, one of the things that I'm most proud of and that I wanna keep doing is bringing new and more diverse voices to the table. Um, we spent a good deal of time engaging with young Dems this um, last election cycle and making sure that we had their input and feedback in terms of the direction of the LD and how to engage young voters. And we want to expand on that. Um, and again, community outreach. We spent a good deal of time reaching out to different communities, particularly in Chandler. And I see even more of a need to do that going forward. Um, so with your votes, I hope to continue to do this work for LD12 as the first vice chair. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Sherry. Are there any other nominations for the position of first vice chair? Are there any other nominations for the position of first vice chair? Are there any nominations for the position of first vice chair? None. Do I have a motion to close nominations for the position of first vice chair? Bridget Bellavina, so moved, has closed to nominations. Thank you. Without objections, the nominations for first vice chair are closed. Without seeing someone else running against Sherry Garcia, you um, will be elected by acclamation. Does that sound? Sherry Johnson. Sherry Johnson. Thank you. I should think I'd know your last name by now. Do, does she need to make another speech? No? I don't good? need to. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sherry. All right. <laughs> okay. So, what? We, do we? No, it was by acclamation. You're killing me, Melissa. Honestly, we have to vote on a motion for acclamation. Do I have a motion for acclamation? Huh? Okay, well, tell me how to word this. I say, do we have a motion to vote for share or to acclaim? Oh, it's all those. Sorry. All, the, all those in favor say aye. All those opposed? Aye. Okay, then you are now first vice chair. Right, Sherry, is that enough? Sorry, I'm getting, it's been a rough week, right? Um, okay, so at this time, I'm just, I, I'm literally just rereading this over and over. I feel very much in a loop right now. Uh, at this time, we will elect a second vice chair. The bylaws describe this position as follows. Guess what? It's going to sound a lot like the first vice chair. I know, right? But I have to officially read it out loud. So they will perform the duties of the chair during the absence or disability of the chair and the first vice chair or in the event of a vacancy until the successor is elected, and they will perform duties assigned by the chair or by these bylaws. In other words, they're gonna do what the chair and the first vice chair tell them what to do. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, at this time, I'll open the floor for nominations of the position of second vice chair of LD12. If you have a nomination, state your name, and then you have one minute to tell us why you brought this nomination. And I have a nomination from the floor of Marion Wyke. I am Marion Wyke, and I've proudly served as your second vice chair and running again for this position. I have been active in LD12 since it was previously LD. 
56 when I ran for state legislature 32 years ago in an all red district. This shows a personal conviction that we must have Dems at all levels of the government. I have worked hard on the board and commit to working even harder the next two years. We must increase participation and continue to grow in strength and be a powerful force against hate and division. I have helped LD12 organize events that bring us together, bottoms up event, the debate watch party and promoting candidates at our bingo night. In the current election, I personally canvassed over 1,400 doors, called hundreds of voters and was actively involved in curing ballots to secure democratic seats. I also helped ensure a Dem voter guide and LD12 literature were carried on the coordinated campaign canvases. So I would hopefully be your next second vice chair. Thank you, Marion. Are there any other nominations for the position of second vice chair? Online or on the floor? Are there any other nominations for the position of second vice chair? Oh, I was no one behind me. Are there any other nominations for the position of second vice chair? Seeing none, do I have a motion to close nominations for the position of second vice chair? Chris Pilgrim has moved to close nominations. Without objection, the nominations for second vice chair are closed. You guys are switching me up now. Okay, so Paul is, is Paul White has moved for a vote by acclamation. All in favor say aye. All opposed say all right. Then with that, Congratulations, Marion Weick. You are now second proud owner of second vice chair. All right, now we will hear from uh, elect a secretary. Do you wanna know what a secretary does? By the way, I might say right now, Jeff, I am still missing the position of quartermaster. I know. I'm, I think we got to figure out what a quartermaster is. All right. Uh, the secretary shall, one, keep records of all meetings of LD and the executive committee. Two, provide electronic copies. Am I battery dying? Um, provide electronic copies of minutes to the members of the respective committee in a timely manner. Number three, maintain a roll of PCs in LD12. Is that like a roll of quarters? Just wondering. Uh, number four, maintain formal reports of LD12 officers, committees, and subcommittees. Number five, maintain a copy of all resolutions and policies adopted by LD12. And what? And six, per perform duties assigned by the chair or by these bylaws. So with that, at this time, uh, I will open the floor for nominations for the position of secretary of LD12. If you have a nomination, state your name, and then you have one minute to tell us why you brought the nomination. I would like to self-nominate for the position of secretary. Um, Susie Thornton, I have been doing this job for several years now, and I think I have it down. And... <laughs> I don't think anybody else wants it. <laughs> it's pretty time consuming, but I'm retired. I have the time for it and I have the passion. So I would like to continue as the secretary. Thank you, Susie Thornton. Uh, are there any other nominations for the position of secretary of LD12? Are there any other nominations for the position of secretary of LD12? Are there any other nominations for the secretary of LD12? Seeing none, do I have a motion to close nominations for the position of 
of Secretary. Thank you, Melissa Galarza, for closing to move or move to close the nominations. And without objection, nominations for Secretary are closed. Do I have a motion to for acc to acclimate? Okay. Do I have a motion to vote for Susie Thornton by acclamation? Thank you, and your name? Peggy Tinsley has moved for acclamation. All in favor say aye. All opposed say congratulations. You're the proud owner of the secretary. All right, we're just moving right along, right? All right, this time we're gonna um, elect a treasurer. You wanna know what a treasurer does? I'm gonna open the floor for nominations for the position of treasurer of LD12. It is described as, my God, you've got a lot of stuff to do. They serve as the custodian for all funds and securities of LD12. They maintain adequate records pertaining to the finances of LD12 and file all required uh, financial reports at requisite intervals as required by appropriate governmental agencies. Number three, be responsible for the financial affairs of LD12. Number four, serve as a member of any committee pertaining to finance or that which receives or disperses funds. Number five, at least once a month, to the extent that funds are available and expenditures are authorized by law, pay outstanding bills, which are those bills that have been duly incurred within the current budget as permitted by the bylaws. Number six, disperse funds in accordance with the direction of the LD12 Executive Committee. Number seven, ensure that all campaign finance reporting laws and regulations that apply to LD12 are honored when receiving contributions and making disbursements. And number eight, perform duties assigned by the chair or by these bylaws. Now, let me tell you one thing about treasurer too. Anybody gets in trouble, he's going to jail. I'm just saying, very, very responsible position, or sorry, the treasurer is going to jail. That's what, I would, or gets prosecuted, isn't it something like that? Yeah, okay, so at this time, <laughs> I'm gonna open the floor for the nominations of treasurer of LD12, and if you have a nomination, state your name, and then you have one minute to tell us why you brought this nomination. Are there any nominations for the position of treasurer of LD12? Hi, everybody, I'm Joseph Seeley, and I would like to self-nominate myself for uh, LD12 uh, treasurer, getting all tongue-tied. It's because those duties are really confusing. It's like, do I really do all that? But yes, I really do. And my most important job is representing each of you uh, where I need to, and also keeping Melissa out of jail and myself out of jail. So I take this job pretty seriously. I've been doing it for two cycles now, four years. This would be my third term as the treasurer. So I'd be honored to uh, represent LD12 as a treasurer again. Thank you all for being here. Okay, so thank you, Joseph. At this time, are there any no other nominations for the position of treasurer of LD12? Are there any other nominations for the position of treasurer for LD12? Are there any other nominations for treasurer of LD12? Okay, seeing none, do I have a motion to close nominations for the position of treasurer? Yes, sir, what's your name? Greg Parlam. Craig. Fred. Fred Barlam, I know your name. Fred Barlam. Okay, I know names when I, I can't hear, but I read them. So, Fred, uh, you have successfully moved to close nominations for the position of treasurer. Thank you. Um, and without objection, the nominations for treasurer are closed. Do I have a motion with a vote of acclamation for the position of treasurer for LD12? Joe Goldblatt. You're exclaiming it? That's like with an exclamation point. Joe Goldblatt. Do, okay, all those in favor of voting by acclamation of Joseph Seeley, 
for treasurer of LD12, please say aye. With that, congratulations, Joseph Seeley. You are responsible again. Now, <clears throat> does everybody need to take a little bit of a breather for a second? Sorry, am I the only one? <laughs> Can I get some water? Thank you. Do you want to entertain while we're, yeah. I mean, yeah, I could sure. put on the music, but it sounds a lot like Jeopardy music. Um, I just want to remind everybody that we do have a Bada Bing raffle basket for today's meeting. So you can go see the Treasurer Joe if you would like to buy any tickets. There's also a QR code on your agenda. So you can scan the QR code and buy the tickets online. We'll be doing the Bada Bing raffle basket at the end of today's meeting. And hopefully lunch will be here soon. God, I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> it's almost 1130. And then also right there in that little alcove is a restroom. We have bottled water up here if you need any water. Was okay. that good? That was great. Okay. Okay. Can y'all hear me now? Okay. So we have three large positions for LD12 executive committee. And uh, how, we're, how are we doing each position, right? For the first of the three at-large seats, because we can only do two at a time. Or I'm sorry, one one seat at a time, right? Okay, so yeah, you want to call the nominations first, and then go for the first vice chair and offer up those names. Is that okay? Or not first vice chair? Sorry, I meant the first. No, no, the first of the three at-large seats. How are we going to define those? A, B, and C, seat A, and seat B, and seat C. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, do I have nominations? At this time, we're going to elect three at-large seats for the executive committee. The bylaws describe the position as follows. You guys are going to love this. It's whatever the chair says. You may form committees, absolutely. You may do all these other things, but it's whatever the chair says. That's what at-large seats usually end up being. You kind of make it yourself and then get it approved by her. Um, okay, so at this time, I'll open the floor for nominations for the position, positions of at-large seat, at-large member of the executive committee of LD12. Do I have uh, anybody who wants to nominate or have a nomination, state your name, and then you'll have one minute to tell us why you brought the nomination. I, yeah, please come. And there's one on, so go ahead and come to here and I'll give you. Malikowski. Hi everyone, Lisa Malikowski, PC and LD12 Pinto District. I would like to nominate myself for position of at large Chair, um, I have been in this LD since 2010. I've been an active Democrat and PC since then. I sit on the Maricopa County Democrats um, Executive Board as well as the bylaws chair, and I plan to renominate for that. I'm also the co-chair of the LGBTQ uh, committee of the Maricopa County um, Democrats, and I plan to be uh, starting an LGBTQ caucus for the state. So I've been active at very many levels. I participate in um, having meetings at my house. I've, ca I've canvassed, I've phone banked. I've done everything to try and make this district more blue. So I hope you will consider me. Oh, I was gonna... thank you. There's one on line. I believe that's Melanie Magisos. Yes, I'm Melanie Magasos, and I'm self-nominating for um, the position of at-large uh, at large member. Um, I've lived in Tempe for 25 years. I have a lifelong commitment to democratic values, 
And since, 19, since 2020, I've been volunteering for the coordinated campaign, getting a lot of experience phone banking and training phone bankers. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm also the co-lead PC in Alexander Precinct and in the South Tempe region. So in my first term on the executive committee, I collaborated to write our end to our neighbor to neighbor letter. Um, to, I worked with Jeff to recruit new PCs, uh, organized signature parties, and uh, recruited volunteers for canvassing. In my in a second term, I my skills as a writer and organizer will continue to serve our district. So in this cycle, I'm especially excited to build an expanded team of outreach volunteers who talk to their neighbors now, start talking to them now, and are ready to go in 26 for however we decide we want to implement our, our neighborhood model. Um, we can start by mining a list of volunteers that were provided to us by the coordinated campaign this year. I'd also like to strategize with other LDs um, to see how our model might benefit them to to increase their election of Dems. So thank you for the opportunity to serve this cycle and I, I ask for your vote for this cycle. Thank you. Thank you, Melanie. Are there any other nominations from the floor for our three out at large seats on the executive committee? I'd like to nominate myself. Where did I come, come on up, Nicole. Okay. Um, I'm reading today because I'm double duty with LF LFC, but Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Brown and I am excited to nominate myself as for an at-large position on the LD12 Executive Board. Um, I was elected a delegate back in April and that really propelled me to get involved and not just hold the title of delegate, but to really get in and do the work. And I have been on this board for the last four months or so. And as a result, because Melissa did tell me what to do, uh, <laughs> And Sherry, let's not forget Sherry. But no, I served as a delegate. I attended multiple rallies, but not just in attendance to say I went to a rally or I met somebody important, but really volunteered and put in the work there. Canvassed alongside amazing people like Melissa, Sherry, Bridget, Cedric, and Stacy, both of whom were reelected. Um, I did some phone banking with Melody and Melody and I both wrote the into neighbor to neighbor letters together. Um, and I did some postcards with the DNC, um, the campaign for, for the Harris campaign and got those sent out as well, as well. And the most important work that I did and will continue to do is partner with um, voters who are less engaged, like black voters, uh, Native American voters, Latino uh, voters to get them to the polls. So it's souls to the polls uh, deal for the next go around. And even though um, some of our efforts did not pan out the way we wanted it to or hoped for. I truly believe we must keep fighting to protect democracy. I'm asking for your support and your vote so we can continue this important work together. Thank you, Nicole. Are there any other nominations for at-large seats? Um, can someone time me because I did not time my speech. I'm really sorry. That looks that looks like a long one. Okay. Well, yeah. Yell at me when when I go over a minute. I'll cut it short. I'd like to run for the one of the at large executive committee positions. I feel that I can continue to contribute to the growth and the success of District 12. Among the qualities and accomplishments that I bring to the table are strategy and planning, PC recruitment and fundraising. Oh, and a little bit of bylaws. Um, strategy and planning. Um, team, I, I was um, helpful in figuring out who to contact, how to contact, and when to contact um, each of our voters um, for this cycle. Basically putting together a 12 page plan on figuring out how we could win our elections. And I think we did a pretty good job um, in executing that plan. And I, boy, oh boy, I hope that I can help again for the next cycle. Um, with the help of Sherry Johnson, Melissa Westbrook, and the Keep Arizona Blue Student Coalition, we crafted a plan to do significant, uh, and also the Young Democrats of Arizona. We crafted a meaningful outreach to our youngest, least engaged voters. The plan worked. We turned out our voters uh, in the 18 to 34 age group by an awesome 13%. I hear that I'm already out. I'm so sorry. But yes, 13% over what the state did. So that's a huge accomplishment 
for all of you and for all of us. Um, team, um, PC recruitment, we have more PCs than ever. Um, I hope that I recruited enough for everybody who wants to become a uh, state committee person. And fundraising and recurring donors, um, I helped with getting a 10% increase in donors and um, if boy, oh go, boy. If you think if you go behind me that I'm gonna let you talk yeah, longer. exactly. <laughs> I didn't know why he was backing up. Yes. Thank you, Jeff. That was awesome. But he did have a really, like a whole paper. Okay. And now Jeffrey Tucker. Okay, so we uh, do we have any other nominations for the positions of at-large chairs? Wait, is that right? At-large chairs? At-large executive committee board members? Online? Are there any other nominations for at-large seats of the executive committee of LD12? Are there any other nominations for at-large seats for the executive committee of LD12? Okay, seeing none, uh, do I have a motion to close nominations for the position of at-large board seats for LD12? So moved. Is that you? Melissa Galarza uh, has moved to close nominations without objections to nominations for at-large board seats are closed. Now, I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who seconded? Rick. Joe. One of, I knew it was one of them over Rick there. Joe. I'll tell you. Rick Second. Epstein seconded. Okay, I, I, motion pass. I don't know what to do from here. That's the only part I knew. <laughs> I just all in. Oh, she has to all do in that. favor. Say, uh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. I'd like to suspend the rules to allow for four at-large board members. Okay, I'm. I thought it was your voice. I really thought it was your voice. Okay. So the motion is to suspend the rules for four or for three at-large board members to expand to four at-large board members brought by Melissa Galarza, Bridget Bellavina second, and all in favor say aye. Oh, is there a discussion? Yeah. Do I have to motion for discussion? No, no, no. You a discussion before you vote. We have to do a discussion before we vote. So if anybody has any questions, I can answer those questions. Gotcha. So do we have a discussion or do I do we have a motion for discussion? No, no motion no. needed. Is but there any do we discussion? Have any questions about what suspending this means? Yes. Hold on. Your name? Wait. There'll be a Mike over there in okay. a second. Um, so so we're doing a side chat over here and I'm sure that there are gonna be other people that have this question. Um, suspending the rules does something that's a short term item. It doesn't change the bylaws. Is this something that we're, we're adding another potential uh, at large person needs to change, needs a change in the bylaws? I am not a Roberts person. Yeah. Yeah. Sure thing. Uh, according to the bylaws, we're actually able to uh, create positions on the fly um, at the election. So uh, if you are in favor of this, I definitely recommend that you vote for it. If you're uh, not in favor of it, then uh, we'll go back to just having three positions for it. Yep, it's not a temporary thing. It's. It, I, I just wanted to make sure we weren't shooting ourselves in the foot. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It's something Good. That's, uh, that's permanent for the psych for the cycle as a result of it being done at the um, organizational meeting. Um, if we if we do want to add additional positions, they have to go uh, via the bylaws process, which takes about two months uh, to add new positions after the reorg. Very well explained, Jeff. I have another question. Ah, Janet Hamlin. Hi, Janet Hamlin. I'm just looking for some clarification. Is it currently stated that we have three at-large members? Yes. 
Is it stated in the it's not stated it's in the It's not stated in the bylaws. I made the announcement at the October meeting that I was that we were going to be opening it up to three at large. So there hasn't been an election. But today, like like he said, if we don't do at large board members today, then the next available election would be February for them to be elected in. Because right. then it would be 30 days official notice. Plus, I have to give you 30, I have to give you 30 days notice. And then the next month we would be able to vote. So this is per our bylaws, today is the day that we can open at large board members. So did I say that right? We have yep, a yep. question yes. online. Yes. Reorgs are magical. I know. That's that I should just oh, over. There's a question on Zoom. Who's gonna read the question? Or do they want to raise their hand and ask the question themselves? The question is why? I know I can't read this at all. Why four instead of three? Someone's asking that question. question. What's the question? Oh, why? There's four there's four distinct candidates. No. I think in these, uh, this is Chris Pilgrim, I'm a PC and state committee member, I'm at a Cocapelli. In talking with each of these candidates as they came up, you could hear clearly there's four distinct qualifications that they had that we need in this LD. And they are so different. All it's going to do is strengthen what we have here in LD 12. So that's why you would want four. Okay. That was well explained. To answer the question why, because in the next years, we are going to have to work our asses off if we want to flip the legislature and want to make sure Katie gets reelected, and we are going to need all hands on deck. So we're going to need to make sure every single person that's running as an at-large is going to have to help do their part. We don't want it overwhelming to any single person. So splitting it into four shares the workload because there is going to be a lot to do and generates more ideas. Thanks, Peggy. What about Paul, did you have something else? Thank you. Is there any other questions for discussion? Paul, uh, Paul Wyke has an announcement. Come in. I don't think I have to go up there. Uh, Paul Wyke, and I was just going to add that uh, this board, this executive board, is a bunch of workhorses, it's not show ponies. And having one more workhorse on the executive board is going to be good. And with that, I call the question. The mo there is a motion to call for the question, which means the vote. Is there a second? Okay. Peter, I see Peter right here. So Peter seconded. Okay, then did we do the suspending of the rules is over and the motion for the vote so now we have to take the vote. So I am, it's all in favor, say aye. Any opposed? Okay, with the ayes have it. Um, at this time we have suspended the rules. So we have four at board, at large board members on the executive committee of LD12. That's a long thing to say. <clears throat> now, do I need to do by acclamation the vote as well? Yes. Do I have a vote? Uh, do I have a motion to vote for four? Hold on, Karen. For four at large seats on the executive committee LD12 by acclamation. Karen Latham has indicated that she <laughs> is moving to, is that, did I do that right? Am I closing it? Can I close the, without objection, the nominations for four? at large seats on the executive committee. Oh, all in favor say aye to have Lisa Malakowski, Melanie Magasol, Jeffrey Tucker, and Nicole Brown elected as at large members on the executive committee for LD12. I'm not repeating it, anybody opposed? Okay, yay! long one y'all thanks for making me take a vote
but I believe we have a Oh, <laughs> that's right. And y'all, if you were at any canvases, you know how we appreciate photos, right? Because if you didn't get a picture, it didn't happen. Everybody remember that? Okay, um, at this time, actually, uh, Melissa and I had discussed it. We have about 15 minutes before lunch is gonna, right? But I think that we have a few certificates that we would like to present. <clears throat> That's okay. So <clears throat> how we're gonna run the state committee um, elections is that Melissa will be running the state committee elections. I will be then taken, taken out, no, taking notes. I'm just kidding. I have, I have the um, statements for everybody too, but <clears throat> LD12, do you wanna go ahead and, I, I'm gonna recognize your new chair uh, Melissa Galarza. Okay. Um, food, is, it looks like since the doors open, that looks like our food is going to be coming in. So we're going to clear that over there. I do want to take a few moments. We'll talk about, we're probably going to break for lunch and then we'll get back to it with state committee members and our long list. We're going to try to make it go quick. That's why I'm feeding you all. So you'll be happy, full, we got desserts, all kinds of things. I do wanna take a couple of minutes. I wanna recognize a few of our wonderful volunteers that helped us out here in LD12. Um, a couple of them are not here, but the first, the two people is Bill Baker and Judy Wade. They, yes. I wanted to say thank you for all of your wonderful bada bing baskets and Jerry Koppel in the back has been helping um, with the bada bing baskets. So thank you very much to them. Another person that's not here is Justin Singmaster. He helped us make all of our LD12 yard signs, the ones that we had created with our QR code that sent Harris Walsh. He did a lot of our deliveries for us to get those signs out and about, so I want to say thanks to him. But this next person is in here, the room, and it's Renee Newman. Where is she? Where is she at? Okay, Renee, thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me with all of my thank you cards for all of our events to our donors. I am so grateful that you were able to do these for me. Um, as you know, the position, the chair is very time constrained, so I didn't have a lot of time to sit down and just write thank you cards. But I do appreciate everybody that's ever made a donation to the LD who's attended of some of our events. So thank you. Um, I don't know if this, I think she's online. Um, the next couple of people, I have Nancy Quagan. Is she in the room or is she on Zoom? She might be. Nancy helped with stamping a voter guide and clothes on a lot of our envelopes for our neighbor to neighbor letters. So over I want to 10,000. Yeah, over 10,000 envelopes. Just a few. I'm, I'm like, wow. Um, the next two people can Mark Haladnik and Molly Donnelly is online. So I don't know if we can. I see her right there. Mark, I saw him. Come on up here. I'll make you guys come up to me. And then Molly, you'll need to get with me when you're back or one day. Mark and Molly helped us get out over 60,000 neighbor to neighbor letters. It was a huge, huge, huge success. Um, we uh, got very little return, so we did a great job. Um, so I want to say thank you. Here's your certificate, and Molly, I will get you yours. Um, so thank you. While they're setting up food, I know we're going to start getting really hangry here. Be working at the polls and having a voter walk in with one of those letters and those blue slates. That was like 
the whole thing went full circle. So, well, thank and, you. And let me, let me just say, um, oh, Mark, come back up here. Let me just say also on all of those letters, on all of those letters my Google phone number was on there. So, so I'm the one that got, one that got all the phone calls. Yes. Right? Yes. They weren't bad. There literally was not one bad phone call. I got at least one to seven phone calls a day from when you mailed out the first tranche of letters. And every single one was thanking me. I, I didn't take credit for it, but they were thanking me for sending that uh, that voter guide. So that's a positive return. So thank you. The other half is richer. Rich, your partner in crime, um, to Rich, I want to tell him thank you for always allowing us to, both of you, for opening your home. We'll be having our holiday party at uh, Mark and Rich's house this year. So remember, it is on December 9th. Um, so more information will come out about that. So thank you to you both. Okay. Do we want to do a pause for the Are they eating cause? Hmm? You want to do a pause for the eating cause? Yeah. Are they all done? Ready to set up? Are, they Are you guys almost to... ready to set up? Okay. Well, I don't have that many more. No, no, I want to do that one. Okay. Finish them. All right. Beth Brazil, Catherine Menner, Denise and Marty Scallon, and Ed Giebel. Are any of them in here? I saw Ed. I saw Catherine and Peter. Catherine, come on up. <clears throat> Denise and Marty Scallon opened their home to the Harris campaign. Um, they had a lot of things going on, so I wanted to recognize them. Um, Beth Brazel, uh, she also opened her home for some of our LD12 canvases. And then come on up here, Ed. Uh, and come on up here, Catherine. Here's yours. Ed opened his home to the Harris campaign as well and did a lot of canvases out of his garage and Catherine Menner opening her home to LD12 to allow us to do our Canvas launches as well. So thank you very, very much. Um, well, the, one of them's over there setting up. Yes. No, yes. Do you know that nobody on Zoom can hear you unless you have a microphone? <laughs> And then these two, I need them to stop. But we'll do them later. Go ahead. I just have a few more. Thanks for letting me interrupt. This just goes to show all these certificates, the power of the people and the power of LD12 and the amazing things that they are doing. One of the things that they did this year that, uh, that uh, Senator Epstein suggested was adopting a district. And one of the districts that they adopted was LD17. Now, with our hard work and with everybody's work, we managed to win the seat in LD17. We flipped the district, and Representative Bulk is going to be our uh, Arizona State House of Representatives. Unfortunately, the Senate candidate was killed in a car accident yesterday at 6 o'clock in the morning by a 27-year-old drunk driver. So uh, I, I just want to say that, um, not, to, not, to br not to bring us down, which I just did, but um, but they McLean was so close, and Kevin Volk won the seat because of everybody here in this room that helped. So thank you, Mitzi, for suggesting it. Thank you to everybody here. We are, we are powerful. We are we are a strong LD, and the people in it are what are going to make us a blue state and get us more blue districts. So everybody who's getting these certificates deserves it because of the incredible power of the people and how we've all come together to make this happen. So that's that's all. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, if the next, if the rest, these names, please come up. Ellie Crystal, Nick Collins, Peter Carp, Susan Arnold, Doug Arnold, Craig Velasco, can you guys all come up here? I saw a lot of you guys. Yeah, I know. Come on up. Yep. Okay, Ellie is not here. Is she online? I'm not sure. 
Ellie Crystal knocked on 432 doors in her precinct. And by the way, that's reserve precinct. And if yeah. you want to know where that is, it's the farthest southwest precinct, precinct of LD12. Yeah. And it's, and it's super red. And she went out and did those doors. Uh, okay. Uh, Nick Collins, 473 doors. Peter Carp, 862 apartments. Apartments. But oh, Robert, Robert, Belichick. Robert, come up here. Sorry, I, I see Robert. Robert. See, oh, careful. It's a good thing I'm short. <laughs> Robert, I'm so sorry. Robert knocked on 905 doors. Craig Velasco, who is not here, he's on Zoom. He's he's by far my favorite. He knocked on 1,212. Well, I think he planned it or something. He did. Doug Arnold, 1,717 doors. Phenomenal. And to Susan Arnold, who Two, she is amazing. You are amazing. I cannot tell you how much information we will get from you guys knocking on these doors and dropping this lid. Susan Arnold knocked 2,286 doors. Please. Thank you. For everything. It really does mean a lot to me. Look at that! You did great. And then I have, you guys, can, I'm good, thank you. I do want to take pictures with you guys. And then I have two people that I need to come up here is Dana Garcia and Joanne Marcus. Thank you so much. You're good. Yeah, thank you. These are my last two. Well, she's doing one. I'm going to do one. She's going to do the other. Dana. Dana. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you for allowing us to use your home. The traffic, the signs, the literature, the everything um, goes in and out of our pseudo home office where we work out of, out of doing a lot of Zoom calls to that. I am so grateful that you allow us to do this. So there you go. And then here you go. And I have the pleasure of thanking Joanne. And it's mainly because, you know, as I've said before, Joanne, was the person who actually tricked me into being a PC in LD18. And I resided in LD18. But I know that her and other legends, like Allison Porter, like Janet Hamlin, like Janie Heidrich, have been doing this neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor model forever. And that is how we turn this district blue from LD20 to LD18, and then remain, remain doing it from LD18 to LD12, but I don't think you all re realize how unique that model is. It is so effective that we were that shining star in Arizona. But not only that, people that have been chairs of LDs throughout Arizona have adopted it to Indivisible. Indivisible, if you haven't heard of them, actually is adopting these statewide on a national level. This is a neighbor to neighbor model that these people, these women really nurtured in this LD. Joanne opened up her office, her home to be a field office every week I was over there. And I just want to also um, mention three amazing volunteers that came every single week. Norma Valencia and Sally Nelson and Jan Miller. 
And they came and bundled all of that lit that you saw at every single canvas every week. So for that, I want you to know how appreciated and in love you are. Thank you. All right, we're officially on break. So thank you. We'll reconvene in in forty five minutes. Forty five minutes. I'm sorry, I forgot, I'm sorry I forgot about that, Jerry. 40, 44 minutes. Please, Please come. What? Go ahead. Oh, so sorry. Really quick. If there are any vegetarians in the room, we did get a vegetarian option. So please make sure at the end of the table. So please start over here, work your way down. And don't forget, uh, we'll have plenty of desserts. So please eat. Enjoy, visit. Hello. <clears throat> okay, it's been about 45 minutes, 51 minutes. So we have a couple of things uh, to do before we can move on to the state committee members. The first thing is um, <clears throat> I would like to have a motion to, isn't it appoint you as chair again? Do I have to step down first? Can I get a motion to let me sit down? Thank you. Yes, Cliff, sit down. Oh, don't give me the bad one. That's my second, Cliff Major, thank you. So, um, uh, and can, you'll get a motion to nominate Melissa Galarza as a chair for the remainder of your election. Did I get? Thank you. All in favor, All in favor say aye. Oh, any opposed? Okay. All right, here's your clipboard. Is this yours? Okay. All right, let's get this party started. First state committee, here's how it will work. I will run down the list of all of the PCs. You have to say yes or no that you want to be a state committee person. For those of you on Zoom, you will have the ability to unmute and answer. Um, we'll be able to hear you in the audience. If somebody is not in person or on Zoom, but they have filled out the form, we're gonna, uh, and they said they indicated, we'll, mark that as a yes. Once we go through all of the names, which will take a lot, um, we will then take a moment to count up how many state committee, how many people or PCs want to be state committee people. If at that point, I will announce the total. If we are not at the total um, number allotted, the 84, then uh, there are people can change their minds at that time. If we are over the number and you indicated yes, you will still have a time if you want to decide to step down. If at any point we have more people running for state committee, then there are positions we will go into an election. And if that happens, I'll explain it at that time because I don't think we need to do it right this moment. All right, so let's get started. Jeff is ready. And Angela, you're ready? All right, they're gonna be counting and keeping track. You all have a list on your table. So, Aaron McCullen. Yes or no? Yes or no, Aaron, is it McCullen? 
मखान ओके ओके वर गेट सो वील हैव टू कम बैक एरन वुड हेम these are all people that we'll just have to come back to so we can kind of get through this list oh my pen doesn't want to oh there we go adam sulu yes uh aj yes uh alexandra arork aka my daughter who just walked out the door she's a no <laughs> she's a no Allison Porter. Oh, she I'm sorry. She said yes online. I got it. So she's a yes, Allison Porter. Um, I already lost. So she's a yes. Um, Alyssa Strauser. Alyssa Strauser. Does she have mine? Okay, she is a no. Athena Baca. Athea? Yes. Amy Blakenship. Amy Blakenship. She's online? Nope. And she's not on the list. Amy Satry. Yes. Uh, Anastasia Travers. Okay. Andrea Clark. Is she online? Andrea Clark is not online or in the room. and did not fill out the form she's a no anita is it robart roth bart oh warning is she online no nope. and she did not fill out the form so that's a no Uh Ann Lutz said yes online. She is not here today. Uh April Coleman. Yes, wants to be a committee. Okay. Armando Montero. Yes. Armani Jackson. She said yes. online. Oh, she's there. Thank you. Hey, hey, thank you. Um Aurelia Barrera did I skip it? No, I didn't. Aurelia Barrera? Yes. She's in person. Yep. Uh Ava Rice. She is not online? She might you know what though? I think she might have been a couple of people that emailed me Yes, yesterday didn't get on to the sheet. I have to check on hers. Maybe. I got to check my email. Uh Barbara Barbara Clark. Carter, sorry. Barbara Carter first. Barbara Carter? Nope. Is that a no? Barbara Clark. Barbara Clark. Is she online? Why are not there? Who is that? You have to state your name please online. Nope. Belinda Campbell. Okay. She is not online. 
Oh, she didn't indicate. Uh, Beth Bremer. This is Beth Bremer. Uh, yes, I would like to run, please. Thank you. She is a yes. Uh, Beverly Crair. Yes. Okay. Bill Baker. Oh. He is not. Okay. Bill Baker is not online and he did not indicate it. Okay. So we'll put him as a no. Uh, Bob Lutz. No, you know what? And just end up giving it to other charities. Just remember if you're on Zoom, we can hear you in the room. If you're not muted. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Brenda Walsh. Yes. No, he is not. Bob Lutz was a no. Okay, Brenda Walsh was a yes. Bridget Bellavania. Bellavania, she's a yes. Bruce Fixman. Nope, Bruce is not online. He did not indicate on the sheet, so he'll be a no. Cara, Cara Walsh Meeker. Cara with a C, C-A-R-A. -A. No? Not online and didn't fill out the form. That could be no. Uh, Carol Blackman filled out the form. I don't think she's here. Oh, she's online. That's right. I did see her. So Carol Blackman. Yes. Okay. She's a yes. Uh, Catherine Menor. Yes. Catherine Sigmund. I saw her. Kathy, are you a yes? Yes. She's a yes. I was going to say, yeah, Kathy. Um, is it Chelsea? I can't say How do you say it? Sakiba? Is she online? Chelsea, did you want to be a state committee person if you're online? Oh, it was somebody else. Thank you. Okay. No. Chris Alcade. Alcalade. Alcaldi. He had to make this print so small. I was like, when I wrote my chairs report, I did a 14 font so I could read it. Uh, Chris. Not online. Okay. Chris, Chris James. Uh, Chris James. It's yes. Okay, he's a no. Uh, Christine Moss. Yes, thank you. Did you get that? Christine Moss is a yes. Cindy Worth. Cindy Worth. Nope, okay, not online, so that's a no. Uh, Clifford Mager, yes. Uh, Claudia, Claudia, is it Dame? No online. Okay, that's a no. Cora Hydrick, she's a yes. 
She's the one that put the candy on your tables. She, yeah, I know. Someone's like, I didn't get any candy. I said, that was Janie. Craig Falasco, is it yes? That's a yes. Thank you. Uh, Craig, oh, am I going to mess this up? McKinney, it's okay. Yes. Yes. Tell me your last name. Say it again. McKinney. Okay. Mm. Okay, wouldn't have guessed that. Uh, Crystal Madri Madrigal. Okay, thank you. Crystal. She's not online and she's not in person. That's a no. Curtis Ritlin. Okay, that's a no. Cynthia Arnau. I don't know how you, I can't read it. It's very blur. Is that a... Uh, no, no, no. Is she online? Nope. Okay, she's a no. Cynthia's a no. Dana Garcia. Yes. Darren Dumolin. Not online. That's a no. Uh, David Doyle. That's a no. David Gordon. None of them. David Cordum. Yes. David Miller. No. Deborah Stevens. Okay. Uh, that's a no. Deidre Larkin. No. Uh, Dennis Lawton. No. How about, oh. Okay. That would be a no. And then, wait, who whose name was I just calling? Thank you. Lost track. Uh, no. Uh, Denise Gallagher, which is yes, because they filled it out online. Are you in? I know. I know. Is that person, is Denise Gallagher in in the room or on Zoom? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Okay. So she, are you a yes still? Okay. Denise Scallon. Yes. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Denise. Uh, Diane Washington Crawford. Diana. She online? No? Okay, that's a no. Uh, Diane Escalante. Diane, did you're online? Did you want to be a state committee person? I said yes. I guess okay. I, I maybe I'm muted. Okay. Perfect. She's a yes. Uh Donald Crandall. Okay, that's no. Uh Donald Zyrick. Yes. Donna Stone. Okay, Donna's a no. Doug Arnold. Yes. Dr. William Crawford. Wait. Did he end up uh is is uh Dr. Crawford online? He did not. Okay. It's a no. Earl uh, Bart 
Barrett. No. Ed Moss. Yes. Ed Giebel. Ed, it says Edward. No. Ellen Shama. Edward. Where? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm skipping right over. Oh, it does. Ed Edward. Edward's a no. Ellen. Well, well, I'll get to you in a second. Sorry, I'm skipping. Eliza. What? Oh. Eliza Harrison. Online. No. Okay. Okay. Elizabeth Brazil. Yes. Yes. Elizabeth Wilson. Okay, that's a no. Ellen Colangelo. Yes. Now Ellen Shama. She says yes. She said yes. Okay. Ellen Torg. Yes. Okay, Ellen Torg is a yes. Thank you, Ellen. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Emily Williams. Okay, no. Eric Miller. Eric has a no. Uh, Eric Romanio? No. Erwin Guzman? Did I not see him? Did I feel like I saw him in person, but I guess not. Okay. Erwin is a no. Evelyn? Is it plan, plan, platonic, Nick, Evelyn? She's a no. Uh, Faith Rizzoli, Rizzolo. No, that's a no. Francine Bard. Okay. Francine. I didn't see her name on here. That's why. I'm here. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Frank Coda. Frank's online. Okay. Frank is a no. Uh, Fred Barlam. Yes. Uh, Frederick Carter. Okay, Frederick is a no. Gary Hibden. Is that right? Gary? For who? We're, we're checking. 
Is Gary online? Gary is a no. Gavin Lee. Gavin Lee is a yes. <laughs> uh, Gavin Lee is a yes. Uh, Gerald Robin? Oh, okay. Uh, Gerald Sweeney? Gerald Sweeney. No, that's a no. Uh, Jerry Koppel is a yes. Uh, Grace McDonnelly. No, Grace is a no. Gregory Burgess. Okay, no. And then Gregory, who is that an H A G? Okay. Hagopian? No Gregory still? Okay, Gregory's a no. It's is it Harvey Kimmel? No Harvey online. Hillary Ruse? Mm, no Hillary. How you doing, Jeff? Okay, Hillary's a no. Hugo Tapia is a yes. Uh, Jalice Weist is a no. Okay. Uh, James Kiefer. James Kiefer is a no. Jane Ann Betkin. Yes. yes. Uh, hold on, okay. Jane Ann was a yes. Uh, Janae, is it Janae Miller? Janine Miller? Was she on my list? Nope. Online? No. Uh, Janet Hamlin. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, Janet Kirby? Yes. yes. Uh, Jeanette, uh, Ciz uh, oh, Cazares. No? Okay. Jason Porter? No, Jason is online, so that's a no. Uh, Jean Miller? Moore. Thank you. Jean Moore? Yes. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, that is... Okay, Jean Moore is not online and did not fill out the form. That's a no. Jeffrey Reedhead. No, Jeffrey online did not fill out the form. That's a no. Jeffrey Tucker. Yes. Jeremiah Bukowski. Next time I'm going to make them read the names. <laughs> my little cackle team over here. Uh, Jeremiah, was he on my list? No? And he's not online? Nope. Okay, that's a no. Ignacia Patel. Uh, ooh, they're having a lot of fun out there. Uh, is a no. She's not online, right? I didn't think so. Uh, Jill Glickman, yes. Jill, Jill Seymour. Is she online? Okay, that's a no. Joan Doherty. Joan is a no. Joanne Marcus. Yes, yeah. she is a yes. Joe Goldblatt, yes. yes. Joe Palmer, he's a no. John, just so you know, Joe Palmer is my grandpa, so that's why I know he's a no. Uh, John Clark. John is a no. Uh, Jory B Buchanan.
she's an L. Okay. Uh, Joseph Harris. No. Joseph Seely. Yes. Judith Simmons. Simons. <laughs> She's a yes. Judith Judith uh Strauser. Is she online? That's a no. Judy Barrett. Nope, that's a no. Uh, Judy Wade. Mm, they are. But I called Bill Baker and nobody answered either. Okay, Judy Wade is a no. Uh, Julia Fleeman, yes. Julia Walsh, yes. Julie Colburn. Is she online? No, is a no. Karen Horn. No. Karen Lathan? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Catherine, is it Roush? No. Okay. Uh, Kathleen Corley? Yes, beloved Madam Chair. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. I miss you. Hi, me too. You're doing a wonderful job. Thanks. I'm so glad. Thanks. Uh, okay, Catherine, is it Simmons or Simons? Simmons? I'm going to get it wrong. Uh, that's a no. Uh, Kathy Sill? Online? No. But why is Catherine Corley? No, she's not. Okay. Kathy Beebe. Yes. Uh, Kathy Yance. Kathy, Kathy Yance, Yance is a yes. Yes. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. You're Hi, welcome. Kay Kennedy. Kay Kennedy. Yes, thank you. Uh, Kay Lap uh, Lipid. I know, but if she's on Zoom, she could have say yes. Is K online? Okay, she's a yes. Kendra Alvarez. Yes. 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 Okay. Kevin Walsh. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, Krista Burgess. Okay, that's a no. I don't know why I'm writing these. Uh, Laura Hudson. No. Uh, Laura Spearman. Cade Spearman. Right? Is that Cade? She is she online? It's a no. Okay, she's a no. Thank you, Cade. Uh, Lori Munn. No. Okay. And then Lori Myers McGinn. Yes. Mm. She's need to, she's gonna need to join the Zoom. Okay. Okay. Lori Myers McGinn was a no, right? Okay, Lenny Lopez. He's right there. 
Yes? Okay. I'm like, let me twist your arm, right? Okay, Lenny is a yes. Uh, Leslie Pilgrim. Thank you, Leslie. Chris Pilgrim. All right. Okay, hold on. I got us. We're getting there. Um, Libby, Hi Libby Hydric Morales. Is it no? Uh, Linda Stenholm. Not online, no. Linda Thor. She's not online? Okay, Linda's a no. Uh, Lisa Kilpatrick. No? Lisa's no. Uh, Lisa Malish, is it Malakowski? She's a yes. Uh, Lisa Zyrick. She's a no? I know. I'm surprised you haven't talked her into it yet. Uh, Lori Warnock. No. She's a no. Okay, thank you. Um, is it Luane Pigeon? Pigeon? I don't. Is that right? Luann? No, that's a no. Lucas Buchanan? Are they online? Nope, they're a no. Luis Heredia? I know. He's not on the list. Jeff. I understand, but he is, he is a Democratic National Committee person. He represents us on the, uh, so, yep. Okay, so Luis Heredia is a no. Uh, I know. Uh, is it Luvresh, Lu, uh, Luvresha Porch Porter? No? Lynn Gardito. Lynn is a no? Okay. Margaret Tinsley. Is it no? Margo Herman. No. Maria Solis. No. no. Marie Colangelo. Did you say no? I'm just not. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Margaret Tinsley. Was a no. Was a no. Yep. Okay. 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 We're just, for those of you on Zoom, we're waiting for Jeff to get caught up. Was a no. Are you ready? All right, Mario Martinez is a yes. Marion Wyke. Mark Vladnik. Yes. yes. Marion was a yes. Mark was a yes. Mark, Mark. is it Reza? Reza, Mark. Did not fill out online, that's a no. Mark Valdez is in, not online, I should ask. Any marks online? No. Okay, so Mark is a no. Uh, Mark Wagner is a yes. Mark Wagner is a yes. Martha Campbell. 
No. Uh, Martin Scallon. Yes. He's a yes. Hope you're feeling better, Mer. <laughs> I got a new knee. Oh, <laughs> good. Okay, Mary Montalvo. Hold on a second. No. Okay. Uh, Mary Moore. I'm a no. No. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mary Osborne. Is a no. Mary Rothschild. Is a yes. Mary Sinto. Lisa. Okay. Okay. Mary Sinto is a yes, and she wants to be changed to Lisa. Okay. She's a yes. Uh, Mary Thornton. That would be. Mary Thornton is a yes. She also goes by Susie Thornton. Okay. Uh, Melanie Bronbeck. Is a no. Melanie Megasos. No. No. Melissa Galarza, yes. Melissa Roloff. She was here. Um, she did not. She's a no. Did she? No. We're on Melissa Roloff. Okay, Melissa Roloff is a no. Melissa Westbrook. Okay, she submitted, so she's a yes. She's a yes. Meredith Warner. That's a no. Michael, uh, Mike Piska. No. Michelle Thompson? No. Mitzi Epstein? Yes. Molly Donnelly? Yep. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Nancy Quagan? Is she online? I can't. Um, okay, Nancy's a no. Nancy Tapuzian. Yes. Yes. Nandini Rondini. Yes. Uh, Natalie St. George. It was under Brooks. She's a. She online. She's online. She's a yes. Brooke is. She was also one of those that emailed me. Okay. So Brooke, oh, I'm sorry, I should, it's uh, Natalie St. George. She also goes by Brooke. She's a yes. Natalie Wright. No. Uh, Nicholas Weist. No. Nick Collins, yes. Okay. Nicole Brown, yes. Uh, Nicole Hiles, she online? No. no. Okay. Nicole Hiles is a no. Nicole Leonardi. I'm a yes, and uh, so is Nicole Miller after me. I'm not sure that she's on right this second. What did she say? I'm sorry, dude. Nicole Leonardi, yes. Nicole Miller, yes, also. Yep, Nicole, uh, Nicole Miller and Nicole Leonardi are both yeses. Yep. Uh, Nora Walker. Who? Oh. 
Okay, sorry, we had to pause for a second. And Nora Walker. Is a no? Okay. Uh, Pardis. Bur Better than, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Patricia Bott. No. Patricia Kiefer. No. Patricia, maybe. I know. That's a no. Patty Baker. No. Patty Contreras. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sh I didn't know if you were going to make it back on. Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on, so yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Paul Browning. No. Paul Wyke. Yes. Peter Kirk. Yes. Peter Menner. No. Uh, Nia Amazine, who also goes. Did she fill it out online? She did not. Okay. I don't think she's online. I didn't see her name. Okay. Okay, so she's a no. Quana Orr. Is a no. Uh, Rachel Downey. Is a no. Ramon Alvarez. Yes. Yes. Rebecca Scottney. Yes. Renee Newman. Okay, Renee Newman is a no. And Renee, Jeff and I are trying to get that. Trying to get an online option. And Andy. Yes, from a different LD who we greatly appreciate helping us out today. Rhonda Crandall. No. Rich Lentine. Yes. <laughs> Rick Epstein. Yes. Robbie Tucker. Uh, no. Robert Brandon. Brandt. Robert Brandt. Anybody online? No. Okay, there are no. Robert. Uh, Doherty. No. Robert Mutchek. No. Rosetta. Hey, stop zoning out, Jeff. No, I'm Rosetta. Yes. Rosetta, are you? Yes. No. Okay, we have to take a pause for a second. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, Rosetta is a no. Okay, I forgot Rob. Okay, Russell Allen. Is Russell Allen is a no. Ryan O'Rourke is a no. Sally Nelson. Sally is a yes. Sam Garman. Yes. Thank you. Sam is a yes. Sandra Kindred. Sandra is a no. Is there any Sandra online? No. Okay, Sandra's a no. Uh, Sarah James. 
is a no. Scotty Craig. No. Thank you. Sean Bowie. No. <laughs> okay, Seth Franck. Is a no. Sharon Doyle. Sharon Doyle is a no. Sherry Johnson. So do you want me to not read them and just skip over the people that filled out the names? Okay. Sherry Johnson's a yes. Shirley McKean. Shirley McKean. Shirley is a no. Is there any Shirley? Shirley Thomas. No. Stephanie Angelo. Did she say no? <laughs> oh my gosh, Jeff's computer. Okay, we have to take another break. Shirley Thomas was a no. Stephanie Angelo is a no. Steven Esposito. Yes. Uh, Sue Sweeney. That's a no. Susan Arnold. Yes. Susan Ashley. Yes. Sushil Bhatt. No. Are you good, Jeff? Are you sure? All right, Suzanne Whitaker. Okay, Suzanne Whitaker is a no. Uh, Tahada is a no, right? Okay, uh, Tammy Wagner. Yes, Tammy Reed. What? Oh, Tammy's online, Tim. I am here, no thank you. Okay, Tammy is a no. Uh, Tracy Garcia, yes. Uh, Tristan Tops. I'm here, I'm a yes. Thank you. Uh, Tyler Haggerty. Uh, no. Vernola Summer. No. Wade Carter is a no. Uh, Wendy Harris. No. William McGinn. Is a no. Yolanda, is it Nar Nahara? Where is she? Yolanda? And Slatica Smackall? Smackall? Yes. All right. Congratulations. I do need to call out. I do. I know. Don't congratulate us yet. That's all right. There are two people that did not answer is Aaron McCullen and Aaron Woodham. He was online. So I just want to confirm Aaron. Do you want to be a state committee person? You have to unmute. Okay, I'll take that as a no. And then um, Julie uh, Colbert. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. We need to go and count how many people there is currently running for state committee. And we're gonna run through the names. I did need a break, but that's okay. Let's go. Yeah. No, how, how many? No, I have. I heard, did, you want her to run through all the yeses. Okay. Okay, let me just tell you the yeses then. Here's who I have for yeses I have Adamu Salu, I have AJ Kurgladu. Ajlan, do you want her, your name is AJ? We can, yes, that's a yes. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm just running through the, all the yeses. No, he just asked, he asked if AJ wanted his name changed. Adama Salu. AJ Corgladu, Allison Porter, I'm only doing yeses, yes. Okay. Okay, then I don't need the bike, do I? We are taking a break, aren't we? We're going to take a break first. Okay. All right. Here's the names that are yeses. Al okay, but do I need to say them out loud? Okay. Go for it. Yes. Yes. No. Yes, 98. <laughs> Do we have another computer? <laughs> Touch it. Okay. All right, we're still at 90, so we're gonna be going to an election. We're gonna run through the list of the 90 people that have said yes, just to confirm. If you wanna change your mind at that time, you can still. Um, so Angela is gonna come up here and she's gonna read the 90 names. And if your name is if we do not say your name correctly, please stand behind Jeff. We will correct it. Like um, case in point, uh, it should be Stacy Travers um, instead of her official name, Lisa Cento, um, things like that. So we're gonna yes. You're gonna get the names on the ballots. Mm-hmm. So we're just gonna run through the 90 names really quick to make sure everybody is still a yes. And we should be a uh, yes. Yes, Cora Hydric is Janie Hydric. Yep, oh, thank you. I'm a teacher, I made notes. <laughs> All right. Okay, I have Adama Salu, AJ Corgladu, 
Allison Porter, online, I'm uh, assuming, Althea Baca, Amy Satry, Ann Lutz, I believe she was online too, April Coleman, Armando Montero, he was here, I remember, Armani Jackson, I believe is online, Aurelia Barrera, Ava Rice, Beth Bremer, Beverly Crair, Brenda Walsh, Bridget Bellavinia, Carol Blackman, Christine Moss, no, Clifford Major, Janie Heydrich, Craig Falasco, online, I believe, Craig Vikesny. Craig just typed on the chat that he would withdraw himself. Craig Falasco is withdrawing. That's what's typed in the chat. Or Vikesny. Which one? Craig Falasco? Okay. Dana Garcia, David Cortum, Denise Gallagher, Denise Scallon, she's online, right? Diana Escalante, uh, Franklin, Zurich, uh, Doug Arnold, Ed Moss, Beth Brazell, online, I believe, Ellen Chama, Fred Barlam, Gavin Lee, the yes, Jerry Robin, uh, Hugo Tapia, yes, online, okay, he was here, Janet, he's still here, okay, hi, Hugo, uh, Janet, I believe is online, Hamlin, Janet Kirby, uh, Jeff Tucker, <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> Jill Glick, Joanne Marcus, Joe Goldblatt, uh, Joseph Seeley, Julia Fleeman, Julia Walsh, Julie Coburn, I believe was online or of some way. Uh, Karen Lathan, Kathleen Corley, I believe she's online. Kathy Beebe, Kathy Fitzmaurice Yance, uh, Kayla Peed online. Uh, Kendra Alvarez, Kevin Walsh, online, I believe. Chris Pilgrim, and Lisa Malakowski. Luis Heredia, again, online somewhere. Mario Martinez. Is he in Argentina? Oh my gosh. Okay, so Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Marion Wyke. Mark Holodnik. Uh let's see. Mart Martin Scallon online. Mary Rothschild. Lisa Sinto, she was here. Yeah, is she still here? No? Okay. Susie Thornton, uh, Melissa Galarza, Melissa Westbrook, she was online, I believe. Uh, Mitzi Epstein, is she? Oh, she's still here. Yes? Uh, Molly Donnelly? Yes. Nancy Tapuzian, is she online too? Nandini Ranjit, okay, Brooke St. George, I believe is online, yes. Nick Collins, Nicole Brown, Nicole Leonardi. Yes. Whoops. Nicole yes, Miller. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Nicole Miller, right? 
Miller, yes. All the Nicoles. Okay. Yeah. Par Pardis Baradar. Yes. Okay. Patty Contreras. Yes. Paul Wyke. Peter Carp. Ramon Alvarez. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Rich Lentine. No. Y'all, y'all don't say yes or no's unless you're talking about this. <laughs> so I'm going to say that again. Rich Lentine is a no. Y'all are killing me. Okay, Rick, Rick Epstein, uh, Sally Nelson, Sam Garman, online sherry johnson online steven esposito steven okay yeah susan arnold susan ashley tracy garcia tristan tops online zlatica smeckel okay those are the names let me recount after everybody said no and let me see where we're at So my name didn't get called at all. Um, you went from Anastasia to Stacy and then didn't mention Stacy. So if you guys can hear me, I would like to withdraw my yes. Can anyone hear me? Yes, and we did. Stacy Travers. We're at exactly 84. And I'm an art history teacher, not a math teacher. <laughs> I'm not in charge of this one. Sorry, y'all. That's going to be your chair. Okay. We are going to... Wait. No. No. Not going to let it. Sorry. We are going to double check the counts. Um, and we are going to send out an email to, for everybody to vote. Um, it's only to make sure that we got all of the 84 names that otherwise we have to go through all of this again. So it's easier for us to just send it all out. You confirm the 84 people are on the list. If so, if we screwed up somewhere, somebody will tell us at that time and we'll send it out. Um, this is just a way for us to confirm that we got all of the names correct. We have the spelling correct, all of that stuff. It makes it 10 times easier just, I don't, then I don't have to fight anybody later on. <laughs> So, if we need to. Okay. Did you recount? No. Oh. She's recounting. We were getting. Oh, yeah. Um, is Janet Kirby? Oh, Joe, he wanted to ask you a question. And then, yes, last chance to buy your bada bing so that we could go ahead and do that. And if there is there any, if there's food left over, please take whatever you want home because I'm not going to take it home. 
Yeah. And then after this, um, please join us at Chandler Pride um, at AJ Park. It is. No, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're off by one. Are you sure? I really don't want to pressure people. I mean, it's just, okay. There, that's Molly Donnelly. Molly, you don't want to hear our speeches? <laughs> she goes, no. <laughs> I don't at all. I have to go. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're at 84. All right. So we will be sending this out for a vote to all of the PCs. You will see all 84 names on your list. It will allow you to vote for all 84. Don't give me that look. Oh, okay. So if you have any questions, please give us a little bit of time to get all the names situated, we have to get things corrected. Like we had Leslie Pilgrim is really Chris Pilgrim. That is her official name. So we're going to get all of that fixed um, just so that when we send the official list of the state party in a couple of weeks um, to all of the state committee people that will be elected, your first state committee meeting is going to be in January 18th. January 18th at Phoenix College, um, where will you, we will be electing new uh, executive board members for the state party. So just like we did today, we elected new board members for the LD. State committee will be electing new uh, board, board members. To all of the PCs, uh, MCDP's uh, winter meeting is going to be Saturday, December 21st. I know. I don't get too excited. Um, the MCDP, Maricopa County Democratic Party, is going. To, we're going to be electing new uh, board members as well. That is going to be at Phoenix College um, as well. And uh, so mark that. I don't know what time. I didn't get the time on it. Does anybody know? So I, you haven't. I just got the insider scoop. I made some calls. Uh, so uh, everybody who's a PC, who's elected PC, will get to vote on who you want to see represent Maricopa County Democratic Party. Okay. Is there any questions? And are we good to close the meeting? Oh, holiday party. Yes. Second Monday in December at Mark's house. Um, we'll be sending out some information about that. Um, Marion is spearheading our holiday party. And then Joe, do you want to do the bada bing? Okay. I know. Oh, can you make him a co-host, Andy? Uh, Joe Seely? What? Oh, you should be good to go. Okay. Um, we're gonna ask that like when we get ready to leave the room, we do have the room till four o'clock. Um, you can stay till four if you want or leave once we're done, it's up to you. I'm just gonna ask that you try to clean up whatever messes, push the chairs in um, and throw everything away. All right. Joe is going to do the raffle. Let me get your mic.
Thanks, everybody, for sticking it out. Let's do this last thing and then get out of here and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Um, it looks like we sold a total of 629 tickets. So let's do Yikes, let's do that. And see who won. Number 401 is the lucky winner. And that is Janet Kirby. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait, before you walk out, we do have one last um, vote. Do, or, we're good, Jeff, right? Okay, do I have a motion to close the meeting at 2.35? All right, uh, all in favor? All right, thank you.